In this module, I will give you an introduction to the LavaStorm Analytics Engine. First, let's take a look at the Business Rules Editor Navigation topic. For this first topic, I will cover how to navigate through the Business Rules Editor. The Business Rules Editor, or BRE, is the platform used to perform business analysis and build graphs. It's what launches whenever you access the LavaStorm Analytics Engine. Starting from the top to the bottom, first there's the Application Menus. This is where you can perform functions specific to the LAE application as a whole, such as open a new or existing graph, save or print a graph, and exit the BRE, undo or redo, cut, copy, or paste, select all, group selected nodes, and convert nodes to library nodes, float the library palette, toggle between the graph and library, view in full screen, and zooming. Add a box and add library nodes. Edit parameters and base libraries. Bookmark frequently used nodes. Run nodes, connect to a server, and edit BRE preferences. View Brie and BrainScript help. View LAE online documentation and open up the LavaStorm online community forum. Under the application menu is the BRE main toolbar, which allows you to perform specific Brie actions such as create and open a graph, save and print the graph, cut, copy, paste, group selected nodes, convert to library node, run and rerun a node, stop the node from running and clear the node status, connect and disconnect from the server, select a field used on the graph to show how it moves through the nodes on the graph, the server farm LAE is connected to. Under the Brie main toolbar is the Graph Navigation Toolbar, which provides the ability to easily navigate throughout the levels of a graph. You can view the graph or library, go backward or forward, go up a graph level, go to the top of the graph, and view graph breadcrumbs. The large area of the BRE is the Graph Canvas. This is the area where business rules graphs are created by inserting and connecting nodes. The library displays the nodes that can be added to the canvas. It is broken up into categories, displayed in the second column. The nodes pertaining to that category appear within the palette in the third column. Below the library is the status bar, which contains useful information about BRE and the status of the graph you are working on, such as which display mode is active, edit, or library, are there any unsaved changes to the graph, the number of nodes in the current view, entire graph and the local library, the number of threads that are connected or failed to connect to the server, and a progress bar shows the number of active threads, and how many threads are available for processing. A green dot indicates that BRE has successfully connected to a server, and a red dot indicates that Brie has failed to connect. And that concludes a quick look at how to navigate the Business Rules Editor. Now, let's take a look at the Node Basics topic. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to add a node to the graph canvas. All nodes are located in the library and are grouped by categories. First, I need to locate the node I want to add and then double click on that node. Once the node is added, I click the node and drag it to my desired location on the graph. It's always a good idea to rename the node. To do so, simply double-click on the node and type the name into the Name field. This Edit window is also where I would update the specifics of the node. Depending on the node, I can enter parameters, specify what data to output, and more. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to run the node. First, I need to make sure the node is selected. Selected nodes are highlighted on the graph. Then, I click the Run button on the BRE main toolbar. It's the green Play button. If the node runs successfully, a green checkmark appears as well as the number of records the node has produced. If the node fails to run, a red cross will appear above the node as well as an error message when you hover over the node. If I need to rerun this node at any time, I can click the Rerun button next to the Run button on the BRE main toolbar. I can also stop the node from running or clear the node status. To see the data produced by the node, double-click on the green output pin 
If the pin is red, then the node did not run correctly. I'm going to double-click the pin. The BRD, or Business Rules Data Viewer, displays a snapshot of the data produced by the node. Now I'm going to show you how to join nodes. Back on the graph, I went ahead and added a second node. Notice that the input pin for this node is red. This is because there is currently no data feeding the node. When the pin is orange, it means an output has an unprocessed dependency. Last is a white pin. This means an input is not yet processed. Now I want to use the data from the first node for the second node, so I need to join the nodes together. To do this, first click on the output pin for the first node, then drag over to the input pin on the second node. Once the nodes are joined, the input pin on the second node turns green. If I want to add a bend point to the join line, I simply right-click on the line, go to Insert, and choose Bend Point. When I hover over the join line, the bend point appears as a red dot. Now I can move the bend point to my desired location. A bend point is a useful tool when dealing with a large graph. I can also create a bend point by pressing the control key on my keyboard and clicking on the join line. Then just as before, I move the bend point to my desired location. To remove a join line, simply click the pin and drag it away. And that concludes a basic look into working with nodes.